Hey, what's up everyone? Today we have some exciting news because Power World just announced their new PvP arena. And this was confirmed over at Triple I Initiative, which if you do not know who they are, well, I didn't either until I saw Power World actually tweet something out. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's start off by talking about Triple I Initiative. So they actually had a stream go on where they showed various different uh, gameplays of different games. And this one actually popped up kind of towards the end. And this is what we got right here. Now I am going to slow it down through certain sections, by the way, so that way we could kind of catch certain things. Okay, so right away, I am going to let you guys know that this is going to be a PvP arena for us to battle it out against other players. What this player is rocking is Relaxosaurus, Grizzble, Anubis, and in its hand, or her hand, there's an assault rifle. The background is actually really gorgeous. It's got this red type of gold theme going on, and definitely gives me those Colosseum vibes. Now, if we check out what the other player has in terms of pals, something looks slightly different here, and it's got to be the pal in the middle. If I am not mistaken, that looks like a grass version of Quiverin, if I'm right, right? Tell me what you think down below, because that looks freaking awesome, and I'm interested in the attacks. I wonder if there's going to be something different with the uh, skills and stuff like that. Partner skills, probably going to be some sort of mount. Regardless, I think this pal in general looks awesome. As for the rest of the pals here, we got Incineram and Bellinor, which is not a bad choice. Then continuing forward here, we're going to see a larger, larger portion of the stadium here. We can actually see more of what's going on. For example, on the right side, you can see that there's something you can hide behind if you were being shot at. And then in the background, you got that red gold theme that I was talking about. Mostly red, but there in the middle, there is that gold but if you were to zoom in a bit more, it does look a little off. And what I mean by that is that you do have this red theme going on. But then if you take a look here, it's just this random green banner. Maybe there's a way that we can choose a selection of symbols or colors and then we can just show off our banner. This right here is interesting to me and I would like to know that and hopefully that's something they will inform us on later on once they... Uh, get closer to releasing this Colosseum or PvP Arena. Also, not to mention, I thought this was interesting right here in this clip. On the left side, you can see that there's something on the ground. This was not in the previous clip, which is really strange. I have no clue what it is. I thought it was some sort of brazier at first, maybe something on the ground that's a brazier. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's also a way that you can respawn because I would assume that once you're taken out, you're not just defeated in general, right? Well, who knows, but what I would like to know is your opinions on this. What do you think about this? Do you think this is a good future for Power World, or are you not too excited for PvP? I know I have read some comments in the past. A lot of you are just not for it, but there are a good portion of you that are for it. I personally have no idea how I am going to feel about this, but if they were to add something like extra rewards that you're only able to get from PvP, that right there in, in itself is rewarding, I think. And that's how you really would get me to play PvP, is if there is some sort of rewards uh, locked behind it. What would be great is once you get a certain amount of wins, you can unlock a uh, custom outfit or a custom armor. I don't know. I'm just throwing certain ideas out. But you get what I'm saying. There's some sort of way to unlock something once you do get a certain amount of wins. So with that to the side, we are now going to continue on and talk about the next update for you guys on Xbox. I know a lot of you are curious about this, and if you did miss my other video, or yesterday's video specifically, there was something I did go over, and so I'll just kind of go over it now. What's happening is that when Power World does send an update over to Xbox, it has to go through some sort of certification right they have to certify it and then say you know hey it's okay it can be shipped out and that right there is why it takes so freaking long for these updates to arrive because they have to be certified and then you know microsoft essentially puts down the stamp and they're like yeah it's good to go so as i mentioned before that's really how it works now you do not have to take my word for it right here if you would like to check out the video check out yesterday's video but with that being said we are now going to take a look at this right here because Bucky did say that they did send another update but they're waiting for it to be verified. Now right here is a screenshot of a member that says this right here 
Would you care to make an other announcement to explain what people can do and can't do before the update is rolled? It seems that there is still too much confusion and frustration about it. There were a few players that were upset about this and this is what Bucky had to say in response. Soon means whenever the cert passes. There are also some fixes including the achievement bug. Right there I have no clue what that is. I am assuming that there is probably some sort of achievement that you cannot unlock. If that is the case, let me know down below. Alright, what we're going to do now is move on and talk about some bugs that have just popped up in the latest patch. Uh, really, this one has been around for quite some time, but I do want to bring it up because I feel like it just needs to be brought up. So what's going on right now is that certain parts of the map are not loading up correctly. So overall, a lot of you have just been falling through the map, losing items or losing certain things, and it's just, it's not been fixed yet. This Reddit member named Aromatic Ty 6471 had this to say. So this bug still happens. Floor clipping has been in the game for so long that I'm starting to think it is a future. Beyond this area is inaccessible if you don't have a flying pal to hover over the ground. And this is happening since the release date. From what I know, this can also pop up in the sand biomes as well. So you really need to watch out for this bug as well. And if it is popping up, make sure that you do report it as best as possible. And last but not least, we have the final bug report, and this one is by Spatballs. This member had this to say, Number 1, Ore Mine 2 keeps disappearing after a random amount of time. Number 2, Coal Sulfur Nodes will not regenerate. Number 3, Every time I restart my designated server with a base pal count set to 20, only 15 pals are loaded and I need to pick the 5 pal spheres, spheres containing my pals that are floating on top of my base. I know this is an issue for the mod, but it is happening to modless designated servers with just world settings tweaked every time it is reset. Okay, so for number one, that first one is absolutely annoying. I think I've had that one happen to me a few times. There is no workaround, there's no fix for it currently, and hopefully that is solved when it comes down to this next Xbox update, because if it's not, oof. Because so far we know that Power World's a little behind when it comes down to these patches. If you're on Steam, you definitely receive a good portion of those hot fixes right away. Or if it's a patch, you know, typically you receive it really fast. But th again, through Xbox, it's a different process. So overall, this is an issue right here. And so is number two and number three. But I just do not know much about number three. If you have encountered these bugs in the latest patch, make sure that you let me know down below in the comments. I know that Power World does watch my videos or the developers because they have seen my recent glitch videos and have patched a good portion of those. So if they do come across this one, maybe they'll check out the comments and hopefully we can get these things uh, patched up. Well, this is pretty much it for the end of the video. I just wanted to make it quick and kind of talk about the update and also some new bugs and obviously some current issues. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. You can follow me over on the Twitter, join the Discord, all that good stuff. Again, make sure that you are subscribed and you have the notifications on. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next video.